Hey there. Uh, someone recently asked me to do a demo of how to rig a propeller so that the, um, the throttle speed could be controlled. The idea is maybe the engine is off and then you want to do a startup where it kind of spins slowly and then you know you want to rev up and be able to change the the RPMs on the engine. Um, it's pretty easy to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, uh, a for better la lack of a better word a widget uh, that's going to control the throttle. So I'm just going to start with a circle mode here, edit mode. Um, yeah, select everything ES down here, pick the kind of these off center faces, get rid of them. Select this one, this one, control B, I'm just going to bevel that a little bit and make sure I'm on individual origins. I'm going to select these two guys, hit S0, and I'm just going to make arrows out of this. Select the fault one, S2, and that kind of creates this arrow widget kind of shape. Um, I'm going to F2, I'm going to call this throttle. And I'm just going to turn it on the name so we can see it. And it's over there. And I never want to actually uh, render it, so I'm going to turn that off. And that this is going to be our controller for our speed. And we only want it to rotate on its x-axis. So I'm going to apply rotation and scale, make sure that all that stuff is zeroed out. And I want to um, add a constraint on this because I only want it to rotate zero through 100 degrees. Uh, zero being the engine's completely off, 100 degrees is going to represent the engine uh, being in full throttle, 100%. So add a limit rotation. I'm going to turn all these on. I'm going to change the X1 to 100. You can see now, if I rotate this, it stops rotating. But if you look over here on the right while I try to rotate, you can see that that X value still goes well past 100, which is not what I want. I'm going to hit Alt R, change that back. What I would, in order to keep this from going anywhere past 100, you need to hit Effect Transform. And the last thing I want to do is I want to make this local space. All right, so now this is going to be our throttle control, and you can see I can try to spin it past 100 degrees, and it won't, and it gives me a max value there. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to tie this in to the propeller. And right now I've got my blades, and these are all parented to this prop hub, and you can see that I've got the X and Z axes locked. So if I rotate this, um, prop just spins on its Y axis. So I want to add a driver to the Y axis. So let's open up the driver's window. And I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to add a driver and select my Y rotation. Go to the driver tab and just bring this way over here. All right. So now we just need to connect the rotation of this object uh, with the driver here. So we can select the throttle object and we want to use the X rotation of this, right? So we want to change this from X location, which is the default, to X rotation. And we want to choose local space. So we're looking at the local space of this as it rotates. Right now you can say it's a zero. If I go in here and I rotate this around, I go back still say it says zero and the reason it still says zero is because in order for this to work this relationship this needs to be parented to something so i'm going to select this guy i'm going to shift select my empty this this empty by the way um the, the uh, engine bits are already at, parented to that so i'm going to select my throttle shift select this hit control p and choose it and you can see how that moved the repeller just a little bit there when that happened so now if i move this you can see now there's a relationship there so if I go back to my prop hub, you can see that this value is no longer zero. You can see, in fact, um, that it's reading 100 degrees, which is what this is. So this first number is radians, and then the second number in parentheses is uh, degrees. So now what we need to do is create a formula up here that um, makes the propeller spin slower or faster, depending on this setting. Now if we just play the timeline, nothing happens because this is basically a constant value. There is a, a keyword called frame, which returns the uh, current frame. So you can see I'm in frame one. It's returning a value of one. If I hit play, you can see 57, 57. So this is going to let us know what frame it's on, and it's going to give us um, basically a changing number for each frame. So if I take my frame number and I multiply it, 
by the throttle divided by 100, right? I've got to change the variable name to throttle. There we go. All right, this is going to return. Um, the idea is you want to return instead of 100%, you want to turn like one, two, three. But remember that the throttle is actually in um, the value, the default value is coming back as radians, not degrees. So we actually need to run this through one more function to get the right value. So I'm going to use the, the uh, degrees function on the throttle and then, convert, then divide that by 100 to come up with a percentage. Assuming I can type. There we go. All right, so this is going to return the percent of the throttle. Uh, so if the throttle setting is at 100%, it's going to return you know, a 1. And if it returns something less, it's going to be some value between 0 and 1. And then if we multiply that times the frame, we're going to get a value here. So now if I turn this on, you can see the airplane's uh, propeller spinning like crazy. It's because the value here for the um, throttle widget is 100%. If I change this down, if I rotate this down, I, I turn the engine off effectively. If I turn it just a little bit, you can see here I'm at uh, 6%, so the uh, prop's spinning at uh, 6%. Re uh, rotate around a little more, you get a little faster. And of course, you can then keyframe uh, this position over here uh, for an engine start or a shutdown or something. Um, one other thing you might want to do, let me stop this, go back to the beginning, is uh, you can also adjust the the, the um, you can kind of put like a multiplying factor in here, um, so I could say times 1.5, and that'll uh, make the prop spin a little bit faster at full throttle. So if it's even if it's 100%, if it's not spinning fast enough for you, you can put some kind of a factor in here, or you could make it a fraction and make it spin more slowly you know, if it's full throttle is spinning too fast. And uh, one other thing you might notice here, let me turn this on again, is the propeller is actually spinning backwards. Uh, it's, it would be pushing the air forward. So to fix that, all I need to do then is to put a negative sign in front here. And let me turn this down a little bit. Just make it kind of slow. And then uh, you can see now that the, the prop's spinning in the right direction. And everything seems to be working. I can turn it off, make it go faster, even faster. And we're dropping some frames there. so. Um, yeah, there it is. So pretty simple. Hopefully that uh, helps somebody out. Um, good luck with your projects and uh, see you later.